This is another model here. It's gonna be an alien ship. I ain't really know too good what I'm going for, but I'm just going off the top of my head. This is the UCAV. Hurry up, move the stuff out the house, bud. I'm gonna move all the stuff out of the house this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna sleep forever. <coughs> you gotta do it yourself. You're not really hard. Move them. Oh, Sorry for the talking in the background. Oh, okay. it's not. But by far, this is my favorite so far. So right now, I'm gonna just work on this yeah, alien yeah, ship. Yeah, um, and get back to you guys later. Alright, so right now, I'm just filling up the guts. Before I can um, place the wings, place the um, the bottom guts of the wings, make a more button assist. So yeah, this this gonna be my first YouTube channel, YouTube videos on how I make these jets, or alien spacecrafts, motorcycles, whatever, out of cardboard. I mean, like to do jets though. Like these right here, these this is just a few here. This is the UCAV from um Stealth. If you guys remember that Stealth 20 2005. Got the lights glowing. Got the LED in the back. This by far is my favorite one. Because I really like the UCAV Eddie. You're just intelligent, smart talking, slick, fast, cunning, dangerous as shit. And over here we have this um, Starship Fighter here. This one has like green LEDs too, but I'm gonna switch that. I don't really find it too fun for this one. But anyway, get back to the whole building. I uh, I'm gonna like set up like a like find a way to like set up my phone camera up so I can like go like step by step and like have it like a time lapse so you can see like. Uh, I guess piece by piece whatever the case is and so I'll, I'll hit you guys back when I get more um, pieces in development oi so I went and how I do the um, the windshields plastic windshields still, still light through the windshield let's move to a darker spot and see see this is like through the windshield of course right this is plastic duh <laughs> but anyway how I do that is paper cup I mean plastic cup just cut them into squares I do for all of those just cut them into squares and just place some glue I got the guts put in so I'm going to add some more like decal graphics onto the alien craft and I'll be right back yeah, so um, I just want to add some uh, dorsal fins onto the back of the craft. We can just add some dorsal fins so it can look like it can fly. Just glue those on, cut and glue onto the back. So it's coming along. I tried to keep all my model scales. I tried to keep all my model scales around the same size, roughly. Especially if you like they're like um uh, fighters, star fighters. Um, unless I'm making like a gunship or such, which I'm gonna do in the future, real real soon. I'm gonna do a gunship real soon, but yeah, dorsal fins. I'm gonna link you guys back. Hi guys, so right now I'm like doing the um, panel designs, so I did the, um, added the thermal thrusters, this is how I normally do my thermal thrusters, added some more panel decal, it goes for the bottom, I didn't really do much for the bottom, I didn't really make the bottom too graphic for real. So I'm going to add the same panel designs just like how you see this line here and this black lines here. So the thing, the trick is now is just to get it 
lined up. If I can get it lined up. If I don't, if you normally don't get it lined up, or when I normally don't get it lined up, when I'm painting it, I just paint, paint over the line and just do it over again. See, like, this line just looks bigger than the next one, so I could just, like, stretch this out just a little tad bit more. Probably stop about right here. Yeah, I'm going right there. And if the lines ain't straight, I just paint them over for real. Add some more panel decal here. Which I might just add a next piece here later probably. Darken up those lines a bit. It's kind of hard doing this and trying to like hold the phone at once. So I gotta get my whole setup before I can like really get into touch and tune with doing these um breaker parts. Hey, what's up? And with all the panel decals said, now it's finished. Took a yellow highlighter and just painted the um the windshield in um in yellow. I painted the windshield red on this one too, and it doesn't smudge. It just stays on. Sharpie markers, of course, right? So all the decal is on. Now all what all what's left to do is now just paint, paint, and then margie podge. Then that's it. I'm gonna try to do like a more um legit build process though. I just gotta know what the hell I'm doing in the whole setting up process with the camera and then the I get I could try and edit it that way too and all that good stuff but thanks you guys for watching I have way more to go way more to come I should say peace and thank you guys for subscribing and all that good stuff you guys really been supportive to me especially on my um Instagram well later Okay, this is the last bill for the night. I am tired. It's another alien craft. I'm back with the green LEDs. I should really start concepting these before I start, but hey. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy alien craft. 